Well, Joe, an absolutely stunning showstopper of a car here. This is a, a 38 Hork. Yes, thank you so much for that. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a 1938 Hork Special Roadster. And how many of these did they make? They made five total. Four we know exist. Uh, one is in Europe and uh, three are here in the United States. Uh, each one was designed a little bit different because they were all custom body by Erdmann and Rossi in Berlin. So depending on what the designer felt on that day, uh, they did. They had little nuances that were, because one of the things that strikes me is just how louvered this this extremely long hood is. Was that unique to this particular model? All, car? all the cars did have, that was a trademark, they all had the louver hoods, mm. but some did not have fender skirts. Uh, this one has louvered fender skirts, some had open wheels. Uh, there was also some subtle differences to the door panels. Well, your, your two-tone silver here, it's very subtle, but just, it really works on this car. And I, I can't imagine it was that color to begin with. No, it was a drab, flat gray. You know, this makes it look much better. <laughs> you know, and we experimented with different colors and so on, and uh, after much time and uh, angst, we decided on this color. I think, I think you hit it. I think it. Now, when you found this car, was it in pretty good shape, or was it? <laughs> no, no, it was, <laughs> as they say, a basket case. Ooh, wow. Because the car came over to the United States. It was brought over by a serviceman after the war. Oh, really? Wow. And he, he had a gas station here in Ohio, and he parked the car in back of the gas station for years and years. And a fellow from Florida learned about the car. And he would come up to visit him periodically every two or three years to see if he would sell but it. But he finally talked him out of it? Yes. He finally sold the car in 1970 to this gentleman from Florida. He took it to Florida with the idea he was going to restore it himself. 32 years later, <laughs> the car was all apart. Boxes. In box. Wow. How long did it take you to, once you got it, all the boxes, to put it back the, together? The full restoration was probably close to 12,000 man hours in, over the course of two years. Well, this is, you know, and Hork still is, is it's sporting the four rings of Audi. What, and I know there's a relationship there. What is that, that relationship? That's an interesting story. Uh, there was a gentleman by the name of August Hork. Uh, he started in Germany in a uh, factory that built motorcycles, but he uh, had an interest in the automobile. Uh, he wasn't very wealthy, but he sought out some investors and they uh, supported his project, so to speak, and they, he formed the Hork Auto Company. And they produced cars in the early century of the 19th century that were not uh, of this caliber. They were, as I indicated, they were pretty pedestrian, mm -hmm. common vehicles that you would see on the street. Uh, after the war, after World War I, uh, he had a different vision and wanted to expand the company to get into luxury cars and try to promote it by going into racing like uh, BMW was doing, Mercedes or Mercedes or Alpha, and yeah. Alpha uh -huh. and, and, and Bentley. So um, uh, his partners didn't want to invest the, the money. Yeah, it's expensive. To support a race team, yes. But so he split with his partners. He formed another company, named it the exact same Cork Auto Company. Uh, his former partners took him to court. He lost. The <laughs> German court ordered him to change his name. Now, Cork in German means to listen. So he had the foresight to go back to the Latin derivative of listen and name his company Audi. Wow, so that's where the name comes that's from. That's where the name comes from. That's wild. And then uh, when Hitler was taking over Germany in the early 30s and companies were really suffering, uh, they swallowed their pride and his former partners in Hork got together. Made up. And made up, yes. And there was two other companies, they were called DKW and Vonder. And the four companies formed a joint venture and made Auto Union, or formed Auto Union. And those are the original the companies ring. that represent the four rings on Audi today. Wow. Well, this is a, this is a fabulous car. And you really, uh, you got pretty wild in the interior here. Yeah. <laughs> we took some liberties. Is that alligator? That is alligator. Wow. Yes. We did the, the no, alligator didn't. inserts. Those are original to the car. We had original pictures of the uh, seats and they had these panels, these insert pleated panels. And then the leather surrounding the alligator is Nigerian goatskin. Wow. And the burl walnut is just, it's yeah, stunning. This, this is Russian walnut burl. <laughs> nice. Uh, just, all this was done in-house by the really? restorer. Just, it's just gorgeous. I, I love the, uh, I love the louvered uh, skirts. That's pretty unique. Yes. As I said, some had open wheels. This was more or less a design feature. Mm-hmm more than a functional feature. But what a 
What a rear end. Sexy. <laughs> this, this sexy rear this end. This is a sexy rear end. Yeah. These bumpers, or what are they? What are these? They're called sickle bumpers because sickle. of the shape. They're very thin, like a sickle would be. Yeah, I mean. But that's all original to the car and the, the swoopy. Yeah, as is, as is this plate here? The this? way they, yes. You know, they would have, it actually have a, a European license plate right. behind there, and that, that illuminates. That is nice. That is nice. Well, what power is the, the Hork 853? It's a straight eight, 160 braking horsepower. Let's go have a look at it. Sure thing. That is a long hood, man. Again, it's sort of a, very much a design feature. They were known for their long hoods and their louvered hoods. Man, that is, that is one big black engine. Yeah. Straight eight. Straight eight, as I said, 160 braking horsepower, four speed, manual transmission uh, with overdrive. It will wow. give you that extra, so extra power. Does she get on the road pretty nice? Very nice. It's great with the top down. I, oh, know, I, I know I have the top up, but wow. she drives great. You know, it's, it's such a heavy, solid car. <laughs> How much is it weigh? Uh, 5,800 pounds. That's, that's a lot oh, of I've car. I've had it up to 70 miles an hour. Well, I hope it's got good brakes, too. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> In fact, there's one interesting thing here. Um, if you look at that mechanism, mm -hmm. that's a, um, a hydraulic um, jack. You can lift this car up off the ground. E each one of those are a jack, there's a piston. And you have, so every, and it, every you wheel. Can lift, you can, without using a manual jack. Oh, nice. You can, if you get a flat, you can jack up wow. your car, and put the jack handle there, and the piston is already built in. Unbelievable. Now, have you, have you been to the Glenmore Gathering before? Yes, I have. It's, it's a, a nice show. Very nice event. It's a beautiful venue. The people are so accommodating, they can't do enough for you. Well, well and you I brought an absolutely drop-dead gorgeous car, Joe. Thank you. Thanks for Thank bringing you. it out. My pleasure.